Okay, is it uh, visible? Uh, Mohana, pa, yeah, please, wait, please, please wait for two minutes. Two minutes. Okay, okay, yeah. Professor. I will wait. Yeah. Okay. Why Aika is so uh, silent, Professor? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. Yeah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for giving us this blessing so that we could hold this activity. Due to this motive, we are sitting in the two meeting in good heart to share and discuss our research of interest in graph theory, namely, Rendo and Tinity Calorie. Secondly, I would also like to convey my gratitude to the head of the Department of Mathematics Education and Professor David PhD as head of QTT Combinatorics and Graph, Tigan, the University of Dubai, who guide us in many ways to accelerate an excellence achievement in research. I would like also thanks to all of you, student of graph application subject course and all collaborators, lecturers, and students from India who have been partnering research collaboration since 2016. I, on behalf of the committee of the JS lecture section, I hope this event can go well and smoothly, and it is benefiting to all of us. That's all from me. Thank you for your attention and enjoy for the discussion. Professor, shall we start? In this class, she will tell a new idea about Rendo and Caroline. Hi, Mohana. Ma'am, really very happy to see you. How are you, ma'am? Good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> it's your time now to start the session. Please welcome, Mohana. <clears throat> Thank you, ma'am. Thank you for a warm welcome. Thank yeah, you so much. Please start now. Yes, Professor, I will start. Shall we, sir? Please start, yeah. Yes, is it visible now? Yes, yes, it is, yeah. So, at this outset, I am very much happy to uh, share my views what I have uh, studied in rainbow anti magic coloring. So, it's a quite interesting uh, coloring, like our dynamic coloring. Uh, it has a wide application uh, in network analysis, clustering, and uh, data mining, uh, especially network analysis. So, its graph coloring is one of the most uh, 
important is my slides are moving sir okay so these are the yes. outlines which i am going to share with you uh, introduction about the graph coloring then chromatic number then i would like to share uh, what is rainbow coloring then uh, anti magic labeling then rainbow anti magic coloring then what are the results so, so far uh, the uh, researchers have uh, attained the results then what are the else we can study uh, professor dafik have given a uh, lower bound for rainbow anti magic coloring so we are look forward to found the upper bound for this rainbow anti magic coloring so we are working on it so what are the future we uh, future study we can do in this uh, rainbow anti magic coloring then finally it is an uh, we have concluded at my point of view it is quite and be hard to find the solution for this problem so first uh, we have to know what is the graph coloring graph coloring is one of the most important concept in graph theory uh, it has many real time application so graph coloring there are three types of coloring that is vertex coloring edge coloring and total coloring so vertex coloring we all know that assigning the colors to the vertices in which no two adjacent vertices receives the same color so then uh, edge coloring like edge coloring you know uh, assigning the colors to the edges in which no two adjacent edges receives the same color likewise total coloring is nothing but assigning the colors to both vertices and edges in which no two adjacent vertices or edges should receive the same color so we are assigning the color suit to certain elements of graph subject to certain constraints or restrictions so first we are going to see about the um, rain we all know that chromatic number chromatic number is nothing but the minimum number of colors is used to color the graph is nothing but the chromatic number chi of g we will denote it by chi of g so then the rainbow coloring the concept of rainbow coloring so from rainbow coloring and anti magic labeling both combinedly we can study for rainbow anti magic coloring first of all we will know about what is rainbow coloring so the rainbow coloring is nothing but the edge coloring as i said that edge uh, we can assign the colors to the edges in which no two adjacent uh, edges receives the same color but in rainbow coloring we no need to see that uh, whether the adjacent uh, edges receives the same color or not there is not uh, not necessarily it is a proper coloring so in rainbow coloring the path exists between every pair of vertices so the path between every pair of vertices there is a rainbow path uh, in that rainbow path no two edges in that path have the same color that is the only condition in rainbow coloring so again i am repeating the rainbow coloring is nothing but an edge coloring it need not be a proper uh, coloring so in that uh, every pair of vertices there should be a rainbow path between them so in that rainbow path no two edges in that path have the same color that is the condition so then the uh, if there is a rainbow path between every pair of vertices then the coloring is called it as a rainbow coloring so here we will use a minimum number of colors to uh, achieve this condition that is call it as a rainbow connection number we will denote it by rc of g this was uh, first introduced by chartrand in 2009 in 2009 i think am i right professor yes a rainbow yes, yes rainbow coloring was first introduced in 2009 by chartrand so this has many application uh, especially in cryptographic concepts cryptography secret sharing uh, instead uh, in particular we can say that uh, secret sharing so uh, we uh, the person third person cannot hack the messages what uh, the two persons conversation the third person cannot hack so in that uh, we can apply this rainbow coloring uh, networking analysis uh, then uh, in image processing so we can apply the rainbow coloring so this is an example for rainbow coloring if i consider any two vertices in this graph it is a wheel graph so if i consider a pair of what any pair of vertices there should exist one at least one rainbow path between those two vertices that is nothing but the rainbow coloring here i have given some examples also too so this is a rainbow coloring there exists a rainbow path is it understandable yes yes 
next uh, these are some of the observation which i have uh, studied in rainbow coloring for the complete graph the rainbow connection number is 1 so because each and every vertices are adjacent to each uh, in complete graph each and every vertices are adjacent to each other so the rainbow connection number between in the complete graph is 1 a path on n vertices the rainbow connection number is n minus 1 for the tree uh, again uh, path is also a tree so we have n minus 1 the rainbow connection number for tree is n minus 1 for complete bipartite graph uh, the rainbow connection for the complete bipartite is 2 for cycle uh, the rainbow connection is upper ceiling of uh, n by 2 ceiling function of n by 2 uh, then uh, next anti magic labeling we have to know about the anti magic labeling anti magic labeling there are many types of anti magic labeling uh, vertex anti magic labeling then edge anti magic labeling uh, likewise edge anti magic vertex labeling like that there are many types of anti magic labeling especially we are uh, going under the edge anti magic labeling here we are assigning the weight to the edges the weight of the edges uh, should be named uh, the sum of uh, labels which we have given for the n vertices of that edge the sum of n vertices of that particular edge is the weight of that particular uh, edge so the uh, that is nothing but the anti magic labeling so the bijection f from edge set Uh, by the integer one to etc is called anti magic labeling. If for every uh, vertex u uh, and the weight of that uh, edge, here I have given the definition for vertex uh, anti magic. But in uh, rainbow anti magic labeling, we are considering the weight of that edge is nothing but the sum of the labels which we have given for the n vertices of that particular edge. It's nothing but um, anti magic labeling. so this is one of the example so if i consider x1 and y4 if there is a connection uh, i have labeled 6 uh, to this edge x1 to y4 so i have given that 6 as 1 and 5 for the n vertices i have labeled 1 and 5 for the n vertex of that edge 6 so likewise we can label each and every edge by uh, labeling the sum of the n vertices this is an uh, edge anti magic labeling so next the combination of both rainbow and uh, rainbow coloring and anti magic labeling we have defined the defixer have defined this new concept rainbow anti magic coloring the combination of both rainbow coloring and anti magic labeling so now we are defining the coloring that is uh, edge edge set for coloring the edge set e of g with the integers 1 2 3 etc k so the adjacent edges may be colored the same may be colored the same since i have told that in rainbow coloring we no need to see about the proper coloring we can color the same color for the adjacent edges if there are no two edges of path are colored the same then the path we call it as rainbow path so i have told that in every pair of vertices there should exist a rainbow path rainbow path means uh, in that path no two edges have the same color that is rainbow path so that is nothing but we call a rainbow path uh, a graph with rainbow path we call it as rainbow coloring so a graph with which is called it as anti magic if the vertex sum as i said in the anti magic labeling the vertex sum uh, can be given as a label to that edge particular edge assigned to that what is this have the this different color so uh, the anti magic coloring is a as the vertex sum induce a coloring of the edges and there always exists a rainbow path between every pair of two vertices then we call that one as a rainbow anti magic coloring so the number uh, the rainbow anti magic connection number we will denote it by r a c of g so the minimum number of colors that are needed to fabricate the rainbow connected under the assignment of vertex sum of every edge this is the rainbow anti magic coloring so here i have given some uh, results which i we have already have found that is these are the results which uh, the sir uh, defix sir group have already found some results for path cycle wheel graph gear graph ladder graph triangular ladder graph uh, diamond graph flower graph 
so these are the graph which is a uh, very uh, np problem so we it is quite hard but easy to verify the results but while we are applying more number of operations to this graph it is quite hard np hard so we will analyze it uh, since the, in one of the paper the fixer paper they have given the lower bound for this uh, rainbow anti magic uh, connection number this is our example so here i have differentiated uh, the rainbow coloring anti magic labeling and rainbow anti magic connection number i have given one example graph so here i have given a uh, if i consider any two vertices in this graph there exists at least one rainbow path between them that is rainbow coloring here i have uh, given an anti magic labeling and in anti magic labeling as i said that uh, every edge is named by the sum of the labels to uh, given to the n vertices which are distinct right so here suppose if i given a weight of that edge as a so the um, label for the vertex i have given 1 and 7 for the n vertices of that edge 8 so this is anti magic labeling so the combining of these two i have given rainbow anti magic uh, coloring so uh, combining the rainbow coloring if i consider any two vertices in this graph there should exist at least one rainbow path so and also the label which i have given for the vertex is the sum of the um labels for the invertices which i have colored for that edge suppose if i give the color 5 to this edge then i have given the label 1 and 4 for this invertices so this is rainbow anti magic which i have combined which we combine the rainbow coloring and anti magic labeling so um as i said that there are three types of graph coloring we can go under three types of coloring one is the possible way of coloring as i said previously uh, there are uh, proper coloring no to adjust and what is is receive the same, same color so minimum number of colors is used to color the vertices is nothing but the chromatic number that is a possible way of coloring the next uh, certain number of colors are given so by using those certain colors and we can color the graph that is nothing but m coloring decision problem we call that one as m coloring decision problem uh in uh, some uh, coloring problem uh, the minimum number of colors has been co used to color the graph that is nothing but m coloring optimization problem so our uh, rainbow anti magic uh, coloring comes under m coloring optimization problem we can we have to identify with minimum number of colors we can uh, given to the graph so for this it is as i said uh, by using many applicate many type of operations uh, it is quite hard to find the results so there are uh, uh, certain problems with polynomial time uh, we can identify the solution for the problem that is uh, p problem we call that in graph theory we will learn about the p problem that is polynomial time problem it is very easy to solve and also it is easy to verify that is polynomial time problem but graph coloring problem are np hard np problems that is non deterministic turing problem that is uh, it is very hard to uh, solve but uh, easy to verify so there are certain colors like uh, b coloring r dynamic dynamic coloring that are uh, that's a, that that those problems are np complete uh, since it is np hard still we didn't generalize the those results we cannot find the generalization of the results so it is uh, np hard but by using certain uh, operations we have identified some uh, lower bound and upper bound for those colorings so it is uh, comes under np complete np problems uh, we uh, but uh, in rainbow anti magic so, so far we have started our study uh, still it is np hard still we didn't uh, find the upper bound for this so soon after a uh, uh, certain study we will have a study on this rainbow anti magic and we will have so i have an idea for finding this we can use a backtracking uh, algorithm backtracking algorithm is nothing but all possible ways so we can uh, by analyzing all possible ways of coloring the vertices and edges 
by using that type of algorithm is helpful for finding the best results for this so we have uh, started to studying about the dzumbi graph then uh, lexicographic product tensor product of certain graphs which we already studied uh, path cycle we uh, for these graphs we will have some combination uh, by applying certain operations like uh, um, tensor product cartesian product and uh, um, lexicographic product there are certain product graph to find the results so by applying those operations uh, i think uh, we will uh, soon we will have an upper bound for this so the lower bound for this study is nothing but uh, r the rainbow anti magic connection number of the g is greater than or equal to maximum of rc of g comma maximum degree of g so after certain study we will bring after the upper bound for the graphs so it is a as i said uh, it is quite hard to find uh, the results so by the computation of the uh, by using those algorithms backtracking algorithms and uh, heuristic approach uh, algorithms it's helpful for finding uh, these uh, ra rainbow anti magic connection number so we will discuss wh what type of uh, results can be predicted from uh, the results which are already found by the defixer sir shall we discuss yes yes okay this is an outline what we have studied so far we have taken a results for dzumbi graph uh like flower graph the dzumbi graph uh, we are studying now professor is it audible yes for yes, now and here yeah. uh, <laughs> yes professor i have got some idea that uh, for uh, um, computing this type of uh, results we can use backtracking algorithm okay that's yeah, so, good news so so that uh, it is quite permutation concept permutation we have studying permutation concept no so that permutation concept will be helpful to find a further study Yeah, yeah. So it is quite interesting, and also we will get many application in computational analysis. We will have certain study in uh, backtracking algorithm. So we are started to studying, and that uh, soon uh, while I am visiting there, we will discuss uh, certain products graph, product uh, like tensor product graph, uh, lexicographic product, uh, then uh, Cartesian product. since it is a quite uh, interesting facts uh, so while you applying those type of uh, operations we will get the results yes uh, fantastic if we can do computer search yes, yes professor even heuristic way uh, since we have found the results on cycle yeah uh, we can use a heuristic way heuristic approach algorithm oh oh definitely Uh, by merging, uh, by merging two vertices one another, we will have a results. While uh, merging those uh, two vertices, we will have some results. Uh, that is also quite interesting application in networking analysis. Yes, yes. But uh, uh, unfortunately, when we try to use uh, a computer search, I already uh, tried using a genetic algorithm. we can find for the a certain order of graph but unfortunately uh, we couldn't uh, track the pattern of the labeling so okay. if we use a computer then the the label or the the what the the weight which in use the color it is random uh -huh. yeah distributed in the element of the graph but yes. uh, couldn't find the pattern in such a way that we couldn't generalize the label or the coloring of that graph yes wahana i couldn't hear your voice yeah but but for for certain case for the uh, what uh, the the Uh, the uh, the goal for the application is okay because when we apply in the uh, real application then we talk about the certain number of uh, pieces then 
But for generalization, it is uh, very hard if we use uh, computer shape. And we also try computer shape only working on uh, uh, vertex rainbow coloring, uh, not yes, it... rainbow coloring. Yeah. But, but it's um, okay. Yeah, but it's okay. My Professor, idea... I have got another idea in working in this. Uh, why can't we try a strong rainbow connection? Yes. Since the yeah. shortest path, the rainbow path should be uh, uh, exist in uh, shortest path. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. Still, we are precising. Uh, we are precising our results to strong rainbow connection number. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. That's very good. Very good. Very good. Let. We'll uh, since if path. I found the results for strong rainbow anti magic. Yes. Then we can elaborate that thing into a rainbow anti magic connection. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's very good. So uh, let me let me show you the the open problem that uh, we have so far here. This is actually yes, problem. Yeah, it is well problem. So in the future we can do a yes on strong rainbow anti magic coloring. As mm. we can do a vertex rainbow or strong vertex rainbow anti magic coloring. So. Uh, some of our student paper are working on edge uh, coloring, edge uh, red, uh, rainbow anti magic coloring for edge evaluation. And the okay, other example of the future, there is interesting again, edge of vertex rainbow anti magic K connection. K connection, yes. Uh, it is a decision problem. Yeah. I think this is comes under decision problem. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good, good, yeah. Okay, and then those two uh, are optimization problem, professor. But uh, this FPW3 is comes under decision problem, so it is quite interesting. Too. We okay. have many application in decision problems. Okay, so that's why we need to welcome you to with your husband to uh, come down to Jimber and talk nicely. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, professor, I have planned to teach uh, that product graph. Okay. So yes. that yeah, if we are we'll start working on product graph, then the results are uh, very hard but quite interesting. Mm. Then the paper will be easily published in well uh, reputed journals. Okay, okay. Then we can support. We can support the APC then. Yeah, no problem. Okay. We have a project. We have a grant now. And the, the okay. last one is uh, uh, studying about total rainbow or strong total. Strong. Uh, yeah. We will start studying first. Uh, we will start studying on a strong rainbow anti magic coloring, Professor. Okay, okay. Uh, no once we have started to study in on strong okay. rainbow anti magic coloring, then uh, we can elaborate that to rainbow anti magic. So, if this wealth problem, of course, then we need to have to solve this for a long, long time to go. So, don't worry. So, we just start with the uh, easier one first with the strong rainbow anti magic one, for example, mm. and the other uh, study might be uh, yeah later after we have a lot of publication of course yeah that's very nice yeah. one, but uh, very nice yeah uh, let me so one of out. my uh, one of my students have started professor already one of my students have started okay. to study strong yeah. rainbow anti magic coloring okay okay okay. Let me, Soon I will contact you. Let me introduce you my my uh, students here who join this uh, session as well. Yes, who are okay. working on rainbow on uh, what uh, uh, coloring? Yeah, there is uh, a PhD student as well. Yeah, uh, Brian, say hello to Wahanapa, Brian. Yeah, hi, hi, Wahana. hi. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> yeah, he is uh, a PhD student of mine. Working on a rainbow anti magic coloring for age evaluation. Yeah, almost done. It is the last uh, of his period of the study. Hopefully, this year or earlier uh, next year. Yeah, he can finish. Yeah, that. But they still join with us and ICC GAN conference. Of course, we will discuss it. And the other one, there are a lot of uh, students who are working. There are uh, a master degree students. 
and as well as Sunday to read with students. So no, next time I mean, it will be very nice if you also invite your students who are working. Yes, uh, actually, uh, in short span we have arranged this meeting. Yes. So since uh, we have started uh, uh, two weeks before, we have started to study. Since you have given that paper before, but uh, we have uh, studied on indices. At the uh, time, we are in the study uh, of indices. Okay. So okay, now nice. only we have started in rainbow anti magic. Okay, very nice. Okay, uh, guys, uh, is there any question to Mohana? Yeah, you can ask something. Not necessarily related to red one, the magic leveling. Maybe you can ask uh, uh, another one. Uh, where it is, is it India or Tamil Nadu? Maybe you will uh, go to there in the short future. <laughs> okay, okay, please, uh, student, ask uh, to Hongwana. Yes. Uh, did you, uh, I have one question with the scholars. Did you analyze any result between uh, rainbow coloring and rainbow anti-magic coloring? There is quite similarity in rainbow coloring and rainbow anti-magic coloring. Did you analyze that? The construction of the rainbow uh, or anti-magic coloring, which is uh, studying the relation between the smaller issue into bigger issue. We can uh, analyze is there any correlation between anti magic and rainbow anti magic coloring or between uh, rainbow coloring rainbow and coloring. anti magic coloring itself. Yeah, so we have such that paper, uh, but not the rainbow. We relate uh, between anti magicness of graph and anti magicness of this joint union of graph and finally with martin bacha we found that relation then this paper goes to the construction uh, issue so it is not uh, working on the special graph we are working on the generalized construction any graph if we can find the relation between uh, a rainbow coloring a rainbow coloring and rainbow anti magic coloring then we can assume that if uh, there exists a rainbow coloring of graph, then we hope that it also exists the rainbow anti-magic coloring of graph. I believe in the future we can find this relation. So that's why uh, we need to have a joint and strong uh, collaboration in this study. Uh -huh. yes. Professor, is it audible now? Yes, yes, definitely. You are joining. Sorry, uh, my, I have some network issue. Yeah. That's why I yes. have connected in my mobile. Yeah, that that's very good idea, Mohanapa. In the future, we will have uh, uh, what uh, a study about the relation between rainbow uh, coloring and rainbow anti magic coloring itself. Yes. Yes, yes, definitely. Once we can perform the relation, then we can go to the uh, what uh, very uh, complex uh, uh, paper that we are studying about the uh, uh, construction of the uh, what rainbow color, uh, anti color. Yes, so we are not working on the specific uh, number, uh, specific uh, graph, but we are working on the general graph there. Yeah, that's very good. Yes. Uh, yes, Professor. Since I have noticed in one of the paper in rainbow coloring, they have used the permutation concept for proving that results. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So we will try those type of proof instead of induction type proof and a contradiction way of proving technique. Oh. Uh, we can apply the permutation type results. Mm, yes, yes, yes. The video for proving. Okay. Uh, so we, I have started to study on that uh, concepts, uh, Professor. Soon I will discuss with you regarding that uh, okay, permutation okay, concept. Okay, okay, okay. That's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Um, Again, back to our student. Do you have any question to Mohan? Yes. Okay, just a minute. Uh, one question from my student. Yes, Professor. 
yang warna merah itu ditaruh di sini. Mungkin saya ingin bertanya ya, kalau berdasarkan itu kan berarti kita kayak menggabungkan antara FOC dengan network topology kita. Nah, terkait dengan aplikasi yang lain, apakah FOC ini mampu dikombinasikan dengan aplikasi yang lain atau tidak? Kalau ini misalkan bisa dikombinasikan dengan aplikasi yang lain, apakah ada? Ya, thank you. Of course, you don't understand. I just translate, ya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, I couldn't understand her language, no, professor. <laughs> If you understand that you are being Indonesian, <laughs> <laughs> so is there any application of uh, rainbow coloring apart from? You mentioned before about secret sharing or uh, delivery yes. uh, designs of, uh, and also uh, computer uh, security, uh, cyber security, and so on. Yes. Uh, yeah. The main application of cyber security in anti magic labeling, Professor. Okay. So, in bus topology, There is a network analysis. Uh, the application of that rainbow coloring exists. Yes, yes, definitely. See a lot of uh, uh, application, I believe. Yeah, for the uh, Su Liang Li mentioned in uh, what uh, his uh, uh, dynamic book. Actually, uh, the application of the rainbow coloring mm -hmm. itself rise from the uh, uh, in regard with the terrorist attack of September 11, 2001. After yes. the attacks, Erickson, a uh, mathematician, yeah, he published a paper on the GECC 2007 with uh, entitled A Matter of Security. Erickson carried out the analysis that an unexpected consequence of the deadly attack was the realization that law enforcement and intelligent agents were unable to communicate with others through their regular channel. The technology used does not provide a way for officers and agents to cross-check information between different organizations. The problem is how to develop an information transfer part of each agent partner which does not have a repeated word. That's me. in a part, we should have a rainbow part. Yeah, because if there is a one age uh, which is the same color, then it is considered to be a repeated password. Then. That's uh, uh, what uh, what's uh, background, why this uh, study rose, But this is in 2007 that we mentioned. And now the natural extension of the rainbow, of course, we have uh, rainbow uh, uh, coloring for perfect version. And there is a strong rainbow coloring. And the other, there is a rainbow K connection number as well. And now we have a uh, uh, rainbow and magic uh, coloring, which is a combination of two concepts. That is um, labeling, anti-magic labeling, and rainbow colorings. That's, I add the information to my student. Yeah, is there any, uh, okay, question in Indonesia? No problem. Yeah. Interesting, Professor. Yeah, interesting. Very much. <laughs> so, uh, what is the session today in Tamil Nadu? Is this uh, summer or rainy? Hello, Professor. It's it's raining uh, a little hot. Oh, it's very hot. Okay, okay, yeah. It's not raining. Indonesia, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. The yeah. climate was um, neutral. Mm, yeah. It's quite neutral, Professor. Both hot as well as the evening time. It is raining. So students is going to uh, campus uh, uni normally now. Yes, Professor, it's quite normal. Quite normal, yeah? Yes. Okay. They are regular to their work. <clears throat> uh, okay. So I'm really... How about this, uh, Professor? How I'm about really, this? Uh, 
means to uh, what uh, come down, uh, go down again to Tamil Nadu and uh, <laughs> and <laughs> enjoy traveling to the uh, what what do, what do you call uh, the most thing the high high mountain in the far away when I have a travel excursion with uh, Ben Car. What place is that? Professor, I couldn't get you. Yeah. Uh, last time when I uh, uh, what had uh, excursion journey ah. to uh, yeah, uh, far distance in a high mountain, what do you call that mountain, that area? Uti, Professor. What, what is the place? <laughs> When uh, we uh, traveled to that place last time with pen card, I I visited that Uti. Moti, yeah, Uti, oh, okay, yeah, 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 definitely. I remember now. Yeah. Yes, it's very nice place, Professor, to visit. The climate was very good. And in, in Jumbur, I will get, I will take uh, you to uh, what uh, some uh, beach. Yeah, nearby uh, Jumber, Wadulo, and <laughs> it's very wonderful, of course. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Next time I will take my students to Jumber. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I yes, I Professor. Um, <laughs> okay, Mohana. Gonna... I have uh, one thing to clarify with you. Yes, yes. Uh, since uh, you have given a lower bound for rainbow anti magic connection number, that is. Maximum of uh, rainbow connection of G and uh, maximum degree of G, right? Yes, yes, definitely, yeah. Uh, why can't we give, uh, by using this uh, lower bound, like R dynamic, why can't we give a separate lemma for uh, lower bound and we can find the results for above upper bound? Okay, so actually, I, I, I'm, I'm not sure that this is the sample lower bound. In mm. our lemma, which is uh, published in 2020, uh, when, when, uh, when uh, we published this, uh, Brian, in Ma, M, yeah, the M, A, 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 yeah, A, what is AMA stand for? What does AMA stand for? Uh, advanced mathematics, yeah, that's uh, our paper, uh, my paper with uh, Brian also with mm. uh, Sulistiano as well, yeah. Uh, we say that uh, the what lower bar of rainbow anti magic link greater than equal maximum RCG and delta G. But yes, uh, I, I'm, I'm sure that uh, we uh, still can have another surplus, a surplus lower bar. So, do you have an idea about this lower bar? Uh, yes, uh, Professor, uh, by analyzing uh, the results what we have taken, it's quite like uh, rainbow connection and the maximum degree. That means Brooks theorem. Mm, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. And also the cycle results also exist. Uh, the ceiling function of n by 2 uh, less than or equal to RAC of G less than or equal to the ceiling function of n by 2 plus 1, right? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that was Likewise, we have to make analyze with uh, many graphs. Mm. Okay. Uh, still, we have to uh, work on other operations, Professor. So yeah, soon yeah. I will get you with the results. But it is still working on that. Uh, uh, the, the, the yes, yes. You, you offer. Yes, Professor. Uh, by yeah. this idea, what you have given for lower bound, we are working on it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. That's, that's very good. Then, but if we can, if we can suffer, uh, that's uh, lower mm. part, Then we can uh, up a little bit. 
and of course we can have a small gap between upper and uh, what uh, lower bar that will be fantastic and very nice uh, what uh, opportunity yes, result in the future I so, yeah since we are working on optimization type problem now, Professor, so the lower bound, what you have given, it's uh, satisfied the results. Ah, okay, okay, okay. That's very good then, so, yes. We uh, still, we will study with other operations, Professor. Okay, okay, okay. That's fantastic. I'm very happy uh, you here working on that. And also, luckily, also first of all, we have to ask sorry for uh, with the professor since you have given this paper uh, two three months before. <laughs> no, but, uh, at the no, time problem. we are in uh, indices. We are working on topological indices, professor. Yeah, okay, no problem. I will share. Yeah. I will share those indices with you. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Research is sometimes going slower, sometimes faster. But we should steadily uh, work, uh, working, consistently working on that research. I believe finally we can get the result. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. They have started to study on uh, shadow graphs. Yeah. Aha, okay. Shadow graph is very nice. Yeah. Okay. Shadow graph for the results, what you have taken, Professor? Path, cycle, complete graph, uh, okay. which we have taken already. So, so, while taking so please, the shadow. Uh, Please inform me whether by chart through what's up, what's yeah, are you working on already, and such that my student uh, uh, not working on the same graph with you, yeah. Yes, professor. Uh, so definitely. Up. Once if we have started working on the graph, I will definitely contact you. Yeah. Without definitely. your yes. collaboration, we'll never move on rainbow and Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's very <laughs> because also here working on the same thing. Then if yes. we can communicate first, then we are working on the different thing. That's it. Very, very nice. Yeah. Yes, Professor. Yes, okay. Professor. Okay, Mohana. I believe uh, it is very nice to talk with you. And also yes, happy to welcome you soon. <laughs> Uh, Thank you so much, I'll Professor. Really, I have got some doubts in yeah. Rainbow Anti Magic. I have clarified yeah. with you. And then I also would like to invite uh, uh, Dr. Ika to say hello to you. Yeah, yeah, Dr. Ika, who uh, joined with uh, with me last time. Yeah, to uh, yeah. CK, CK, CK you uh, contact me, Professor. Yeah. Ah, you remember her? Hi. Yeah, you remember her. Yeah, okay. How are you? <laughs> I'm so, too good, Rika. How are you? Rido, Rido, Rido. also uh, came to your university. Rido here. Uh, Professor Ritu is there? Sorry? Ritu? Yeah, okay, okay. I, I just I just calling also my colleagues who came to your university last time, yeah? And then also we are walk, uh, welcoming you soon, yeah. Also, there yes, is, Ritu, yeah. So really, I'm looking forward uh, to meet you Anis, all. Anis, yeah. Okay, Anis, say hello. Say hello to Wanapa, Anis. Yeah. <laughs> I will come. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, we have a lot of uh, person behind that. Uh, Hi. Studies, yeah. <laughs> Coming to you. <laughs> Till I have the water bottle of Ika. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah. Yeah, see, of course. I still remember a bit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. How is Arika, Professor? Arika here, Arika. Yeah. Yes, she has welcomed me. She has given yeah. a welcome. So, me, Arika, Ika, and is in the same office. Yeah, and right now, we yes, Professor. you to uh, uh, for joining this discussion. Arika here, Arika. Yeah, say hello. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> really very nice professor remember last time when we start our dynamic 
Yeah, we are inspired with yeah, her publication in India. Yeah. I don't understand. Okay. Arika, say hello. Okay, yeah. Hello, oh. hello ma'am. How are you? <laughs> How are kids? <laughs> okay, Moana. I believe okay, that's, that's all uh, for this session. If you have uh, a final suggestion or uh, for the younger uh, scientists, uh, please, uh, uh, you can uh, start the uh, concluding remark for this discussion. Yes, Professor, definitely. Uh, while I'm visiting there, I will come with many results. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Very much. Much. Okay, okay. So thank you again. Thank for, you, Professor. Thank uh, you so much for giving me this opportunity to share with your scholars. Yes, uh, yes, yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so okay. much. Professor. Okay, my number. And thank you. Uh, all, all the participants, lovely participants, please give a applause for Mohanapa. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for your love. Uh, thank, thank you, you so everyone. much. Thank you. Soon we will and meet you. Bye all. bye. Thank you. Thank you. Take care of you, Professor. Okay, thank you all. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> bye. <laughs>